What is up guys? Um, today's lesson will be until the end. Um, it's the last solo in the song, I believe, or the second solo. Um, it was requested to me by, I think his name was like, A7X, uh, one second, A7X Guitar 999. Alright, so, um, I did a cover, it'll be in the description somewhere, there'll be a link to it. There's also a link to my Facebook page if you guys want to um, know what I'm doing or know what uh, lesson or what cover is going to come next or anything. Um, so, okay, so it starts out. Um, kind of a, a sweep shape, but you don't sweep. On the 17th fret, with your pinky, and you alternate pick. 17, 16, 14. If you want to, you can do a slide. And then 14 on the B string. And then 14 on the G string. And then following from 16 on the D string. So this is it really slow. And then after that, you go right into a bend. And these are pretty high bends, by the way. So, and then you do a bend on 14 on the E string. And then you go from 13 to 14 to 16. So, and then a bend on 14 on the E string and then at the bend you kind of go up and down and then 14 on the B string and then 14 and 13 on the G string so this is it really slow so far uh, I know that was kind of a lot to process for a little bit but here Tabs will be in the description, by the way, to follow along with. If I'm going too fast, just rewind the video a little bit. Uh, watch that part again until you get it. Um, so after that, the... Right after that, you go to a bend on 16 on the E string. You, you bend it up, and then you kind of strum it a few times and then go back down so so again and then you kind of slide up onto the 13th fret on the E string and strum that a few times so you go and you hammer on onto the 14th fret on the E string so and then strum it and do some vibrato and then you do that same kind of a motif thing that it does on the 14th on the B string to the 14th on the G and then 13th on the G so So this is it so far, I'll play it slow so you have something to kind of work with. And this is kind of the fast part. It's really easy actually. It's kind of a stretch on the hand, but it, once you get your alternate picking down, um, it's really easy. So this is how that next part goes. So what you're gonna to want to do is pointer finger on the G string on the 11th fret. 
and then your middle finger or your ring finger, whatever is more comfortable. I use my middle finger on the 14th fret on the B string. And then your pinky on the 16th fret on the E string. It's kind of a stretch, but once you get it, um, it's really easy. And you're going to want to alternate pick and let off of each note so they don't ring out like... Because that sounds like dump. So... So you're going to go... You're going to do that. One. I can't count it on my head how many times you do it, but it'll be in the tabs. Um, you can, you can kind of just sound it out. I'm going to swallow my gum there for a second. Um, so... That's how many times you do it. I don't know, you can count it and put it in the comments or whatever. And then after you hit that note, you go right back to 14 on the B. So it's like... And then... So yeah, um, sorry, I'm kind of lost. Um, it's kind of hard picking it apart, like after you know how to play it. So you play that part and go back to the the 14 on the B string. So and then you go um, 13 on the G, 14 on B, and 16 on the E string. So and you only do that once. So. and move to the 16, 17, and 19, I believe. So, and then you go down to the 14, 15, 17, and you do that twice, and you immediately slide up to 21, and do a bend. Kind of tricky to do, um, but once you get it, it's easy. So I'll play that whole part one more time because um, it was kind of confusing how I explained it. So that's that part, um, and if you can just watch it over and over again if you need to get that down. Um, practice with the metronome, that helps always. And then this next part um, is pretty much the exact same, but a little bit different on the last note. So then you're going to do that, that again. You do that once, and then you're going to change that last one up and go 15 on the B string, and 14 on the E, 17. So. And you slide up, and then so like actually you just you just strum up, you just, you just strum it once, and go, bend back down, and then go to 17, and back to 19, and then you're gonna go to 22 on the B string, and do kind of a little bend up and down. And that is it. So I will play it all really, really slow for something you guys play along with. So. They don't have it down 100% like clean, like the way Sin does. But, um, anyways, it's pretty easy. 
Um, you guys can just leave a little comment on saying like how I did on the video or in the, on the lesson and what I can do better in my next um, lesson. Um, please just give me some like ideas on some next videos or whatever. Um, you guys are awesome and thanks for subscribing. We hit 3,500 subscribers um, the other day so that's a good achievement for us. Um, you guys are awesome and thank you for watching and have an amazing day.